Hello everybody, my name is Jason Ballet. I am here to talk to you about what is QHHT from my point of view and my perspective of what does QHHT mean for me and what I've learned and from Dolores Cannon's books and so on and from her sessions and my my sessions with my clients and so QHHT stands for Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique so it was created by Dolores Cannon and this is her website QHHTofficial.com so if you I'm going to click on that real quick just so you can see, see the website. All right, so this is Dolores Cannon's website. So um, Dolores Cannon is no longer with us. She moved on to the other side, as you could say. But this is her website, QHHTofficial.com. And plenty of information if you want to know more about Dolores Cannon, how she got started into um, hypnosis. Okay, so when you're at the QHHT official website, Click on about Dolores Cannon, and this goes into a lot more information about Dolores Cannon, her experience, how she got into hypnosis. I am going to leave a link to this website for Dolores Cannon, QHHTofficial.com, and I'll leave a link in the description for you. But I want to talk to you more about what does QHHT means for me and from my point of view. QHHT involves so much. It's more than just past lives and and past life regressions and lives in Egypt, Roman times, fifteenth uh, century, sixteenth century. The list goes on and on. Everybody, almost everybody on Earth, has had a past life of some sort. So, you probably had a past life in Egypt, Atlantis. You probably had a past life in medieval times, the Roman times. You, you know, I had a client that had a past life in the 1920s, and she lived in New York and so on. So you could have had a past life in Europe about 100 years ago and so on. So the list goes on and on. So, but QHHT is so much more than just past lives, and it deals with almost everything, and explains everything. So, but let's just put put it like this so this would be you and then you have your higher self and your subconscious so when you go to hip into hypnosis you're dealing with information from your past lives and then after that you're going to be dealing with information from your higher self and your subconscious and then there you have access to so much so much information so all right so there's so much information it's, I don't even know where to begin, but I'm just going to take a stab at it and just go with it and just run through it and so on. So, But your higher self and your subconscious has access to so much information. The Akashic records, your past lives, the meaning of life. So the subconscious knows why you're here on earth. Why did you choose this life? What are you supposed to learn in life lessons and so on? Uh, same thing what happens after death life after death on on the spirit side uh, the multiple dimensions and so on how we're all connected you know to aliens and spacecraft you could have had a past life uh, as an alien on another planet I had a client that had a past life on Maldek so Maldek uh, I don't know the time frame but was destroyed over a hundred thousand years ago if I ain't mistaken so or two hundred thousand years ago so she had a past life on Maldek as an alien not as a human so there's past lives where people will have lives on <clears throat> spacecraft and so on and they lived a life on a spaceship for their entire life. They did not even live on a planet. They lived on a spacecraft, a spaceship. Portals and black holes, space, portals, how it's all connected. And healing. Uh, there's a lot of healing from these sessions. And that's why her session is called Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. Because everything is energy. So that's the main thing you have to remember everything is energy your body is energy your soul is energy your consciousness is is energy and so on your dna is energy and this 
and energies also deal connects to your chak chakra energies and this healing can come in different forms it can come in from solving the messages from your body that is trying to teach you a few, a few things and so on that you need to look into and stop get the message if you have hearing problems this is a perfect example if you have hearing problems you're not listening to to what your body's trying to tell you if you have eye problems you not seeing what what the body is, is trying to communicate to you um, throat uh, people with throat issues and with the voice box they're not speaking their truth and so on so a lot of healing comes from these quantum healing hypnosis techniques now I'm going to talk to you why do I have so much information on here but this this is kind of to explain what that everything is connected so and I used a perfect example of a yin yang symbol God and source and this is the ultimate highest level there's a level beyond this that I'm learning as well but this is the highest level the norm of the highest level so in QHHT it's called source we call it God it's the same thing so just keep that in mind so God is not male or female uh, God is not good or bad everything is neutral everything is balanced so God is all source is all everything is energy God source is energy and uh, it's not positive or negative it's just both it's always a constant balance between the two male and female God source is not male or female like I was saying and it's connected to everything so QHCHT talks about everything light and darkness you, you can't have one without the other how God and source is connected to the earth and the sun and with the new earth and new sun and the planets how everything is all connected through energy and source and so on so and just a, a little tip how this works from what I'm learning you're connected to the earth and the earth is connected to the sun and then the sun is connected to source so anything that we learn and experience and, and experience on earth feelings emotions what we see what we do gets recorded by the earth and any all the planets all the planets that are out there whether it's mars venus the earth mercury it doesn't matter jupiter saturn doesn't matter all the planets are connected to the sun and then this all the suns out there are connected to God and source and so on so and then there's pl our earth just to talk about the new earth and the new sun our earth is going into a higher level a higher dimension and so on and the earth is raising its vibration and its light its energy so we need to do the same if not we would no longer be here so if we don't raise our energy levels and dimensions as well the, the earth will excel and we will be left behind so QHHT talks about that as well and same and that's why our DNA is being worked on and upgraded through the these energies that is coming from this source location the source also in QHHT they talk about the Akashic records it's also called universal knowledge where it has the records for everything and to point the, out the Akashic records as well Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet he was connected to the Akashic records so whenever he had a, a reading or a session with someone he was tapping into this Akashic records and it's also called the universal of knowledge so when you go into this hypnosis uh, state from QHHT you're accessing these records and so on so and same thing with the spirit side and the other dimensions they ha have access to this information so everything that is experienced and done taught thought up of uh, formulas uh, information creations paintings photos it, it doesn't matter if, if it took energy to create it from what I understand 
that's recorded into these records and so on. So e even stuff that's from Atlantis and e Egyptian times has been recorded. So this is everything knowledge-wise is in this location. So, And you can tap into it with these QHHT sessions. Let's talk about her books. So Dolores Cannon created many, many books. So there's probably... I think she has 13 books that she created. So these are my favorite books, The Convoluted Universe. Is, she has five of them. So there's three right here. And th this is when I was talking about the New Earth. So her book, The Three Waves, Volunteers, and the New Earth. And then this is one of her older books, Custodians. Pretty much everything that deals with ETs and extraterrestrials and so on. So this is one of her older books. These are the newer books i think this was her last book if i ain't mistaken but so much information's in here i like to tell people about when i'm reading these books like what's it about i like to say that these books are about if you used to watch star wars the matrix jupiter ascendant valerian that movie valerian hope i'm saying that one right if you used to watch all those movies all at once that's what this is like all these books are available on amazon and that's where i got these books from from amazon so so much information it talks about everything space aliens higher dimensions parallel universes other dimensions black holes there's so much information the list goes on and on life on other planets life of other beings aliens on other planets as well and the different laws and textures even talks about in her first book and her second book she goes into atlantis fyi so if i have any fans out there any people that like atlantis i recommend these two books so this goes in so much detail about how advanced atlantis was and all the technology that how that they had and the things that they did that destroyed them and so on so the second one goes into a little bit more of Atlantis as well so there's there's a couple of paragraphs in each one that talks about Atlantis so if you ever and Egypt and so on talking about the Great Pyramids the Sphinx so if you're interested in any of that stuff then that's pretty good and some of her older books where book five and book convoluted universe book four talks about the new earth and just people's experience and so on how they had lives as energy beings they had no bodies they they could be whatever they want and so on so a lot of information all her books so very thick books I'm gonna warn you her books are about 500 600 pages 400 pages so I think this is her smallest one let's see that's so many pages right here on my desk matter of fact so you're looking about 300 pages f for this book for book four I mean book five book five about 300 pages so all her and all her books are thicker than that so and well worth the read so much information mind-blowing information you will not be disappointed so check them out i recommend starting with uh the first two books these were my favorite so i recommend starting off with a couple or or just start off with one see how you like it and then uh go to the second one and see how that resonates with you see if it matches your vibration as they would say so but qhht just connects everything so her information from her books just connects everything and then when you have a session you never know what you're gonna get you don't know if you're gonna have a past life or a future life you don't know um, your purpose and so on and then there's probably so much information I could have listed on here but um, I, I was running out of stuff to write and put on here I mean there's so much stuff like so, even information where you know why do you not get along with your family you know how come you always fighting with your mother or your father or brothers and sisters you know you might have had a past life in another lifetime where some karma was developed and in a previous life your friend might have killed you and and y'all came into this new life with an agreement that y'all gonna make it better and so on and that y'all gonna learn from your mistakes 
past lives with healing. Another thing is I, I had a client that had her head chopped off. Uh, she broke whatever laws they had back in the day, and, and she had neck pains. So, And she was still connected to that life. In this present lifetime, as, as I'm speaking, she was connected to that lifetime. And then she had to disconnect herself. She was still carrying that experience from that. And she never knew, understood why she had neck pains. Same thing with uh, aller allergies and sinus problems. You know, there's a high probability that you're connected to a previous life, and that it's causing a lot of these allergy problems. You you just don't know until you explore these options. It, it's well worth looking into. Uh, same thing if you have um, kidney problems. There was a a client that had kidney problems and so on. Well, in a previous life, they took uh, some kind of poison, some kind of herb root, and they were connected to that lifetime, that past life, and it was still affecting them in this lifetime with their kidneys and stomach. Uh, another perfect example, I had a, a client that was had a past life where her stomach was sliced open multiple times, just slashing her stomach open. Uh, in that previous life, she was a man, and she didn't, or he, he did not protect his wife and stand up for his wife. So it, it created karma. So in this previous life, well, this present life, she never knew why, even at a young age, why she had stomach problems. And... Um, why her stomach will always hurt every time she would just have a meal. It could be anything, and she never knew why her stomach worked. Well, she's created that karma, and she's still connected to that previous life, and and that pain, and 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 that that lifestyle, that past life is affecting this current life. So you have to disconnect that that past life, and to settle that karma and so on. And there's so many ways you can do this to sub. So, the higher self, the subconscious can take care of that for you. And they can disconnect that life for you and, and not have you experience that pain and misery anymore. Uh, another client had a, a past life where they were a priest and so on. And back in the day, the priest did some things that were wrong uh, sexually with uh, the altar boys. So in this present life, this person just you know always had issues you know with intercourse and pain and so on well she created karma you know when when she was a priest when she was a male priest in this other life she created karma and now in this life she has to you know solve that karma and live a different life so in the previous life she was a male priest in this lifetime she's uh, a, a young female just doing totally different things you know just traveling seeing different things uh but she created karma and created karma and with the family as well so it's it's so much information it's amazing how much stuff is linked to all this stuff sure enough the higher self came and subconscious came in and explained why these things happen and why she's still connected and disconnecting that that she's living a good life that she's she got the message and that's another thing it's it's all about the messages to receive to to understand this life and that hey don't do this don't do this again you need to learn from your lessons so in which in this life she she is learning she's living a totally different life she had totally different experience where the father was abusive to her in this lifetime so and once when the higher self is and subconscious comes in there, they can balance the negative energy and the neutral energy and positive energy and so on. So they can balance it, get rid of that karma, disconnect those past lives. So when you're doing these QHHT sessions, you don't know what you're going to get and what you're going to see. I mentioned past lives. You might go to this life right now that has information f for your healing you might go into a future self of you you might go 20 years 
in the future something that you might be very concerned about and you need information about it's just what your higher self and subconscious want you to see and want you to connect with so but this is just i want to give you my point of view of what i i see as qhht and my experiences and what it deals with and so on a lot of people just say qhht just deals with past lives but it it doesn't deals with so much so much so hope you enjoy this video and like i said if you're interested in a qhht session uh go to this website qhht official i live in new orleans so if you don't want to travel there's plenty of practitioners out there there's plenty of people that are doing these QHHT sessions, you can go to this website, do a search by state. You can uh, plug in your state and the practitioners in that state will pop up for you. And you can go to, to their website if they have one. You can go to their website, see how they are, what they look like, and see if you resonate with that person. See if you can connect with that person. So um, definitely worth looking into and trying it out. There's so much stuff, positive things that come out of these sessions. I want to thank you and I want you to have a good weekend. Enjoy yourself and live life. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.